and both look up to me alone for learning and defense as I look up to Providence. I start out of my sleep to think someday I may forget their food and drink or the house door left unshut. The hare may run until it's found the horn's sweet note and the tooth of the hound. I bear a burden that might well try. Men that do, all by rule, and what can I that am a wandering witted fool but pray to God that he ease my great responsibilities. I slept on my three-legged stool by the fire. The speckled cat slept on my knee. We never thought to inquire where the brown hair might be and whether the door were shut. Who knows how she drank the wind, stretched up on two legs from the mat, before she had settled her mind to drum with her heel and to leap. Had I but awakened from sleep and called her name, she had heard, it may be, and had not stirred, that now it may be, has found the horn's sweet note and the tooth of the hound. Then were the days I sat in the hot cupboard, throwing Jesuits out of the skylight. Who's that? Owls? Let him wait. My squinty doty, I hid and you sook. And Francine, my precious fruit of a house and parlor fetus. What an exfoliation. Her little gray flayed epidermis and scarlet tonsils. My one child scourged by a fever to stagnant murky blood. Blood. O oh, Harvey, beloved, how shall the red and white, the many and the few? Dear blood circling Harvey. Eddie through that crack, Peter, and the fourth Henry came to the crypt of the arrow. For Sappho Black. With a dry eye, she saw things out of the corner of. With a bold, she looked on any man. With a shy eye, with a cold eye. With her eye, she looked on, she looked out. She who was not so different as you might imagine from, who had as nature hath and I to look upon her makings, too, in her womb. I know how red, and because it is red, how handsome blood is, how because it is unseen, how because it goes about its business as she does, as nature's things have that way of doing, as in the delight of her eye. She creates constants, and in the thickness of her blood some variance. As blood is, as flesh can be, is she self-housed and moving, moving in impeccability to be clear, clear to be as what is rhythm but her limpidity. She, who is as certain as the morning is, when it arises, when it is spring, when from wetness comes its brightness, as fresh as this beloved fingers, lips each new time she turns herself to tenderness, she turns her most objective, scrupulous attention, her own self-causing, each time it is, as is the morning, is the morning night, and revelation of her nakedness, new, forever new, as fresh as the scruple of her eye, the accurate kiss. If you would know what woman is, what strength the reed of man unknows, forever cannot know, look, look, in these eyes, look as she passes on this moving thing which moves as grass blade by grass blade moves, as syllable does throw light on fellow syllable, as in this rare creature each hidden, each moving thing is light to its known, unknown brother as objects stand one by one by another. So is this universe, this flow, this woman, these eyes are sign. 
The intimate, the intricate, what shall perplex forever is a matter. Is it not, not of confusions to be studied and made literal, but of a dry dance by which it is shoots one day make leaves as the earth's crust, when ice draws back, rings mountains from itself, makes valleys in whose palms root-eating fisher folk spring up. By such a dance, in which the dancer contra contradicts the waist and easy gesture, contains the heave within. Within, because the human is so like a structure, within a finger, say, or there, within the gentlest swing of, of your true hips. In such containment, as in search for that which is the shoot, the thrust of what you are, of what you were so delicately born, of what fruits of your own making you are, the hidden constants of which all the rest is awkward variation. This, this is what gives beauty to her eye, inhabitation to her tender taken bones is what illuminates all her skin with stained glow when love blows over, turning as the leaf turns in the wind, and with that shock of recognition, shows its other side, the joy, the sort of terror of a dancer going off. What was that, Nick? Charles Olson? Uh, yeah. Uh, Sappho. Or doubles and become both. And in my spare time, I listen to the night birds sing I know you're not. and wait to go and smoking and drinking alongside of the other devils and gods. I have become the ordinary man, older than everything in the house. Except maybe this like phone the, and I walk uh, weapon. And all the ordinary madness of the world seeps into my soul during the day. And at night, I sleep. And in the morning, I wake up an ordinary man once again. Wonder and fear. I've come to Berlin for red love and green peace where the chickens roost. Reagan is there back on TV telling me anything is possible. His visions of that young fellow look the stuff, the bell of booze, bows, walk, a prime car in our cover was. Yep. Now without the seat, it is hardly too much. Benches, emerald minutes, static incumbency, stop short, the ozone on record, walk welcome. All animals remember utility. Terrestrials are extra. <laughs> it begins with finding the air somebody had smuggled. What is it the season is dropping? Black swans and burning saints and silver hands. Even the monkeys speak a foreign language. Of all the nights and John is uh, doing his ambient thing along to people as they read poetry, whether it's their own poetry or or a, a famous poets.
Bye-bye.